Hello, everybody. Welcome to Yoga for Self Love with Kim. I'm Kim. This will be a short restorative yoga practice. We will bring in Mountain Brook posture today. So I will show you the setup and then we'll do just a few little exercises before we get into our shape to stay and relax. So you will need a couple of blankets. You could use towels if you don't have blankets, maybe a pillow, cushion, um, something like that. So we will use our first blanket. I'm using a yoga blanket, so I'm taking it from this sort of rectangle shape and I'm gonna fold it in half. So it's something like this, a smaller rectangle shape. And this is going to go towards the top of the mat and this will go right underneath the upper black upper back shoulder blade area so it'll give us a little bit of elevation through the heart through the chest a little of expansion and broadening across the collarbones so that's one thing and then you may want to put a bolster or you could roll up um, a towel or blanket put that underneath the knees or, or grab a pillow put that underneath the knees. And then you may also want a blanket underneath your head. So I'm gonna take this blanket, roll it just a little bit. So I've got a little blanket roll at the top and this will go underneath the back of my neck. So underneath the cervical curve of the neck. So we will, when we get into position, it will be something like this. You have all your props ready to go here. And then you'll lay yourself back. So again, the blanket is coming underneath the shoulder blades, sort of bra strap area for women. Your arms will come in between the two blankets. So back of the shoulders will come down to the mat. And then you roll up this little roll underneath the neck. If you feel like you need a little more support underneath the head, then please feel free to do that. So the bolster, pillow, blanket will go underneath the legs. So the legs will be supported, upper back and the neck head will be supported. And then once we get ourselves into this shape, if you like, you could also put a blanket on top of you or even take a blanket, you know, in this rectangle shape and just plop it over your belly or even just over your torso to give you some, some grounding. That can feel really nice. Okay, so we've got our prop set up now. This is the position we will <laughs> assume in just a moment. But before we do that, we'll just do a couple little exercises to bring us into sort of a good state. <laughs> to bring ourselves into the state of social engagement. So if you're feeling um, anxious or amped up, um, then this can help to calm you down, bring you back into a ventral vagal state or stimulate the ventral vagus nerve, which can help to bring you into a place of safety and social engagement and help to calm you down. So we'll take our hands, interlace behind the back of the head you could lie down and do this. It's easier for me to show you right here sitting up. So I'll take the hands behind the back of the head, elbows wide. And the thumbs can sort of support the back of the neck. So thumbs kind of running down the back of the neck here. So your head is supported, resting in the hands, or you're on the floor and the head is just laying in the hands. We're going to keep the head right where it is. We're going to move the eyes only. So keeping the head where it is, shift your eyes over to the right. So eyes only move. The head might want to move, <laughs> but just take note of that and keep your head at center. It's taking eyes over to the right. And we'll stay here for about 30 seconds or so. You may feel the urge to yawn or swallow or sigh. And that is all good. Our vagus nerve has endpoints in the face, in the ears, the eyes, little muscles of the eyes, and 
intertwining with the suboccipital muscles at the back of the skull. And then bring your eyes back to center. You can close the eyes for a moment. And then we'll take it to the other side, sitting up nice and tall. Head stays at center. Now just shift your eyes to look over towards the left. Eyes only, looking towards the left. And then slowly bring the eyes back to center. You can close the eyes and then remove the hands from behind the head. And now we'll take the right hand, actually we could take both hands at the same time to your ears. Just give your, your ear lobes a little gentle massage. And then move your fingers up the outer edges of the ears, just giving yourself a little ear massage. I know it sounds funny, but it's helpful. And then all the way up to the top of the ears, sort of gently pulling the ears away from the skull. Again, feel free to yawn, sigh, or swallow here. And then we'll take the fingers into the concha of the ear, so not the inner ear canal, but the sort of little conch shape. Just massage your fingers around in there. Doesn't have to be too firm, could be nice and gentle. And then this little little thingy, little flap at the front of the ear, the tragus. Take your fingers on either side of the tragus or thumb to one side, finger on the other side, a little gentle massage there. And now take your fingers to right behind your ears, that sort of crease where the ear meets the skull and then gently press in at the tops of the ears, behind the ear, and gently pull the skin down to come down underneath the earlobes, maybe even down towards the jaw. And again, bring the fingers back up behind the ear, top of the ear, slowly press the fingers in and then down. And then we'll take the fingers to behind the ear at the bottom, right underneath the earlobes, and then gently press in and push up now. And again, bring the fingers down to the bottom, right behind the earlobes. Press in, press the fingers up. And then release the hands down. And now we'll find our way into our mountain brook restorative posture. So legs supported by the bolster. You lay down on to the blanket underneath the upper back, shoulder blade area. Find that blanket roll behind the back of your neck. If you need some more support for the head, feel free to tuck another blanket underneath the back of the head. So arms are out to the sides, backs of the shoulders coming to the floor. If you like, you can close your eyes. And then just allow everything to relax, release, let go. No effort. Nothing to do, just be here. Relaxing everything. Relax your toes. 
And now it's through the soles of the feet and the arches of your feet and the tops of your feet. Relax your heels, your ankles. Relaxing through the lower legs, front and back. Relax through the upper legs, front and back. And relax through the front of the body back of the body, relax the rib cage, shoulders, the arms, front and back, relax your hands and your fingers and your finger pads. Relax your neck, your throat. Relax your jaw. Relax your tongue. The roof of your mouth. Relax up and back through your soft palate. Relax your face, the little muscles around your eyes. Relax your eyebrows, the space in between your eyebrows. Feel that furrow of your brow soften. Relax through your cheekbones through your temples, relax your forehead, relax your scalp, the crown of your head. like you could bring in a focal point focusing on the breath and feeling the breath in your body and focusing on sounds around you or bringing in a mantra anything that feels right for you today if it feels right feel free to use the mantra Inhale, love. I exhale, gratitude. I inhale, love. I exhale, gratitude. I inhale, love. I exhale, gratitude.
Inhale, love. I exhale, gratitude. Inhale, love. Exhale, gratitude. Inhale, love. Exhale, gratitude. Begin to slowly call yourself back. Invite movement back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe gently rock your head from side to side. Yawn. Sigh, wiggle, stretch, wiggle fingers, toes, roll out wrists, ankles. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose and then sigh it out of your mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose, sigh it out of your mouth. <sighs> One more breath like that, clear everything out. Deep breath in through the nose, sigh it out of your mouth. Slowly roll yourself over to one side and pause there. Hmm. And then slowly press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Bring your palms together at your heart. Thank you so much for sharing this restorative practice with me. I hope it helped. With love and gratitude, namaste.